Hello guys, this is Ozzy Osbalik here. Um, this video is a quick tutorial on how to get 120 frames per second on any monitor, any unsupported monitor. Um, first of all, you don't need no expensive gimmick, you don't need no HD Fury, you don't need no HD Fury emulators, nothing like that. This right here is the trick this is the this is the hdmi emulator you need simple just a little adapter right there <clears throat> now guys you want to get the 4k hold the 4k ultra hd emulator right there Edit 4K emulator. You must get a 4K. There's a 1080p one. That's not the one you want to get. And it's only $23. Come on, guys. Can't beat that. Off Amazon. You must get a 4K one. Don't forget, guys. Now, sorry about the sorry about the video. I had to do this really quickly. Uh, I'm recording on my phone, everything's messed up. I'm sorry about that. I have the Astro adapter as well. This works perfectly fine if you guys if you guys need if you guys need a video on this one as well, I could show you guys how to set it up. Easy and simple. I'm just gonna go through with the emulator for now. But the Astro supports 120 hertz, that's what I play with as well. Easy. Now we have the PlayStation plugged in, as you can see, straight into my monitor. No strings attached. Straight input from the PlayStation. This is the PlayStation. This this is the original PlayStation wire, which comes with a PS5. There you go, guys. Right here. And it's plugged in into the back. Right here. Now, I have my FPS counter up, 60. I will scroll to my settings. You have to go to system, HDMI, turn off HDCP. First things first. Mine's already turned off, as you guys can see. Go back. Now, you have to go to save data and app settings in order to get 120 frames on the game which is supported, you pick, click X, click performance mode, and that's when 120 hertz will be activated when you're in game. When you launch the game, it will be activated if it's supported by the game. Now, now that you have your PlayStation on performance mode, this is what you guys need to do. I'm just going to quickly show you guys. Yeah, I have Cold War installed. Click X. As you guys can see, I have the FPS counter up there. I have it normally plugged in. It's not going to work. It's not going to switch to 120 hertz. I'll show you in the menu settings in the in-game, which is not working. Normally it should switch by now to 120 FPS because I have all my settings on performance mode and my resolution is at 10, uh, automatic. Okay. Settings, graphics, ray tracing disabled, 120 Hertz disabled. See, as you guys can see, it's not working. Okay, back out of the game, close game. Mm -hmm. Now, what I want you guys to do is go scroll to the settings menu. Scroll to screen and video. Okay, video. Output information, as you guys can see, 1920 by 1080, 60 hertz. RGB, HDCP off, 
HDR not supported anyways. Now your resolution should be automatic, automatic, HDR off. Mine doesn't support HDR. Deep color off and RGB automatic. All on automatic, guys. Okay. This is what you guys need to do. Hover over resolution. Keep your controller in front of you right there. Hover over resolution. That's all you got to do. That's all. Now, this is where the magic comes in. Now, get your emulator. You can plug this in anywhere, basically. Into the back of your monitor, into the back of your PlayStation. Doesn't matter. It works either way. So, I'm just going to... Take the cable out and plug it straight in. Plug it, plug it right there. Simple. Plug it into the back of the PlayStation. You don't. It doesn't have to be in the. It doesn't have to be in the back of the monitor. It can be in the back of the PlayStation. Right. Simple. It's done. It's still my right there. And as you guys can see, it still doesn't work. This is this is the error we are getting on this specific model. AW2518 HF Alienware monitor right here. And most other monitors as well, people are having trouble with... Uh, Mostly all Alienware, all Alienware monitors are having trouble with. Uh, there's a lot of monitors out there which people are having trouble with getting 120 hertz. Now, this is the error message you're going to get. If you don't get this, that's you are good to go. If, it, if you plug it in and it works right away, you are good to go, guys. But if you get this message, the timing... The current timing, the current input timing is not supported by the monitor display. Please change your timing input to 1920 by 1080 240 hertz or any other monitor listed timing as per the monitor specifications. Okay, guys. Now, now I want you guys to remember. We set our PlayStation to resolution, right? We put our controller down. Now, I want you guys to do is press X. Press down on the D-pad. And then press X again. Voila. Voila. We just changed the resolution on the PS5. Because I pressed X. I scrolled down and it changed it to 720. Now you can set this to 1080p. Just like that. 1080p. It sucks because you have to do this without um, without looking. Without seeing anything on the display. Because what the emulator does. It tricks your PlayStation into thinking that your monitor is a 4K monitor. So, this monitor is not a 4K monitor. It's a 1080p monitor. So, it doesn't support 4K. So, this is why we get the error message. Because it tricks your PlayStation thinking it's a 4K monitor. So, it switches the resolution to 4K. Look, it's, my, it's not even supported. And I can get 2160. But I will have the error code if I pick 21. So, it automatically sets my... Resolution to 2160. That's why we get the error message and nothing display and no display on the um, on the monitor. So we have to manually um, we have to manually pick our resolution while the display is showing the error message, as you guys can see right there. Now it's on 10 and we switched it to 1080. Everything's great. Everything's perfect. Hi, Dookie. Now, 
settings, just to make sure. Go to system. The HDCP is off. Go to app. Save data, game app settings, game presets. Make sure you're on performance modes. Simple. Now you go to the game. Launch the game, Black Ops Cold War in my case. 120 seconds. We have the FPS counter. Oh, and it switches to 120. There you go, guys. And that's how you get 120 frames per second. Simple. With one little fix right here. You don't need to spend hundred. You don't need to spend a hundred dollars on a HD Fury. All that. You don't need to spend nothing. And I'm gonna show you in settings right now. Multiplayer. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Graphics. One twenty hertz enabled, baby. That's it. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much. If you guys want me to do a video on the HDMI Astro, I got an Astro headset. This is what I use. Simple. This supports 120 hertz. I just plug it in. It works like a charm. I, I only did this because of the video. Just straight input right there. Like simple. You could do it with this easily. I just made I just made this video easier, but if you guys need to know how to plug this in, how do, how it works, I'll I can make a video on that as well. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you I hope I solved your issue. And if I did, give this a thumbs up, give this a like, and consider subscribing because we got more to come. Peace out, baby.